Tight Moon likes to tell stories with everything they release. Sometimes they're self-contained, other times they're sequels or feel sequel-ish, as well as having what-ifs in some of their stories. So where does Multiple Type Lumina story-wise fit in? If you guys didn't know, I have merch. If you want to support me monetarily while also getting something back, then check the description below for the links to all that. Type Lumina is on the lighter side of the spectrum containing what ifs that possibly could be before or after the remake depending on the character. Containing single narratives self-contained to each character, sometimes referring to each other. They follow the same structure, character introduction, fights, getting one or two unique interactions, and the ending. A lot of stories end up feeling the same, although some of them do feel different and stand out from the rest. Miyako is unique, continuing off of her story with a boss rush and has two alternative endings depending on if you win or lose. Miyako's is a simple story of fighting her way to the Tunnel Mansion to get Chiki back, characterizing Miko more than the other stories do for the other characters, with few exceptions. The boss rush undoes her ending, taking her on a new journey, her own heroine journey with Chiki. Which includes a certain cat, and the whole story is a fourth wall breaking joke from that cat. Saber's story is also very interesting, in my opinion, where she has been summoned to this world, feeling something is different with the counter force. She doesn't know what she's here to do, so she fights her way to see who she was here to defeat, and eventually meets Arcoade, who prompts a fight with her, heroine versus heroine. From my experience, some of the memorable moments are Roa confronting Archetype Earth, who's not in the game by the way, Ark dreaming about going berserk after her death, hunting Shiki and telling him about it, not seeing anything weird about that, Noelle trying to hypnotize Shiki to like her, and Ciel doing the same to make Shiki leave home to live with her, Ciel getting to Shiki by helping Miyako so she'll tell Shiki about what she's done, Sato being mentioned in Noelle's ending, Koma challenging Vlav, and Akiha rejecting Vlav's proposal to be his 11th wife, saying he should dedicate himself to one woman. Compared to what's come before this, this is easily a forgettable set of stories with good moments here and there. Depending on what character dynamics you like, you might find some of the discussions that they have worth listening to, and some you might not. I personally like Miko's story and her conversations with Ciel and Akiha. Seeing Archetype Earth is awesome and Koma vs Vlav is an interesting interaction that I'm glad I got to see even if it's in a what if that couldn't possibly happen outside of the story. If you want to hear about some more interesting stories and characters from the Titan Moon Universe's games then I'd recommend the Ultera slash Saphir video from Fate Extella or my demons video featuring characters like Koma and Miyako from all over the Tight Moon universe. If you've bought and played this game, who is your favorite character to play as? And if you're in the story, who did you like the most and why? And don't forget the merch in the description below.